Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackier.com. Today we're going to do the HJC ARFA 1N Helmet Ride Review. Okay, two weeks ago, I finally had the opportunity to ride in the HJC ARFA 1N helmet. This is something I was really excited to do when I did the product review of this helmet. If you guys watch that, you probably already know I'm really impressed with what HJC did here. This is without question the best helmet they've ever made. There's no doubt. Fit, finish, overall quality, right? The best product they have ever brought to market. Where it gets, I think, complicated is now when you look at the price point of this helmet, you are in pretty direct competition with some heavy hitters. During this weekend, I rode in this helmet and I rode in another brand new model from a big time brand. I can't tell you which one it was yet because I'm not allowed to talk about it. I actually had to sign a piece of paper, but it gave me the opportunity to compare this with something that I fully expected to be great and it was everything I expected and then some. So it's a great baseline, a great head to head. Overall, what did I think of it? The riding experience in the helmet. It was exceptional, right? Things that it did really, really well. It flows a tremendous amount of air. You look at the intake vents on this bad boy, it flows an unbelievable amount of air. Aerodynamics. I installed the wing on the back of the helmet. You gotta admit that thing just looks gnarly, man. You get this on the helmet, just looks badass. You feel like you're racing MotoGP in this thing. The aerodynamics are amazing, right? No doubt about it. The fit. I'm 58 centimeters on the money. We're a medium. Good comfortable race style fit. It really feels like it captures your head. It takes a little bit of effort to get it on and then take it back off, which indicates, you know, it seals up nicely around the base of your jaw and your neck. That's what you want. You want it to be held securely. You don't want to move it around while you're on the track, right? In the event you have an accident, that works in conjunction with the chin strap to make sure the helmet stays in place. I like the fit. I would say the head shape is going to be intermediate oval, right? My head's really intermediate oval. If it leans in any direction, it might lean just a, a tiniest little bit to the round. Tiniest little bit. But if you're intermediate oval head shape, you're going to get a really good fit from this. If you know you're a little wider, a little bit wider side to side, this is probably going to be... It's still a great option for you. So it's going to open itself up to some more riders, in my opinion. Field of vision. I had no trouble seeing through any of the corners. Peripheral was good. While you're in a tuck, vision up here at the top, never feel close, it never felt closed off, right? So I was very happy with that as well. The shield, locking mechanism, you know, with gloves on, right? It's got like on its own. It kind of, it'll kind of hold itself there and hear that. So you can roll with just that. And that's going to serve most of us very well. If you want to have it really locked down, you need to push forward on the slider. When you don't have your gloves on, not a problem at all. When you have your gloves on, you come back and after the session, if you've engaged this, and I noticed this when I very first used it, it, it was just kind of tough. I had to fiddle with it a little bit. It was a little harder to feel, right, where it was with the gloves on. It gets kind of close to the vent here. By no stretch of the imagination is that any kind of deal breaker. I mean, you could slide your glove off and it's going to be super easy, right? Or I'm sure after you get used to wearing the helmet, if you're going to be using that locking system, there's going to become a point where you just you just got it nailed. One minor issue. Flows a lot of air. A tremendous amount of air. Like, this probably flows as much air as the best ventilating helmet I've ever worn. That's a big plus. 
I did notice, and I wear earplugs, I did notice maybe a little higher level of noise with it. Once again, not horrible, not even close to being a deal breaker. If that's something you're really sensitive towards, then you, you may not love it, right? Comparing this head-to-head -to, -head to other premium stuff, it's well executed. It belongs in that category, you know, where I think, where I think it's going to take some time is for people to get comfortable with seeing HJC in that space, in this space, and I think the helmet belongs there, absolutely, especially after riding in it, I think the helmet belongs there for sure. I think it's just going to take time for people to get comfortable, right, as more riders use it and have a good experience and share said good experience with people. Comfort is going to follow, for sure, and I think you'll see more and more people using them and on the racetrack, on the street, in that premium category. One thing that I, I will say, too, was a little bit of a bummer, and, you know, all this COVID nonsense that we've went through the last few years probably ha has had some impact on this, is the availability of the tinted shields. At the time when I took this out to ride in it, well, there just weren't any, right? And we really haven't had any adequate supply of the dark smoke screen or the tinted screens for this helmet since it was, it was first released in production last year. That is something, you know, and, and that could be totally different by the time you watch this video. Very possible that that's already solved itself, and I know HJC is going to get that solved. But riding only in the clear screen, it became very apparent once again why we all like to buy dark smoke screens when we're riding on the racetrack. You know, it's just kind of distracting. You get a bright sunny day, get that sunshine pouring in the front of the helmet. You don't have anything to cut that a little bit. A little bit of a bummer. That's another very minor takeaway because that's quite easily resolved with simply having ready access to a tinted screen. So to close this thing up, right, a couple of basic points. I, I weighed it on the scale too. This is a size medium. It has the big wing on the back. 3.6 pounds even on the scale. That's about what I would expect from this helmet. This is an FIM certified helmet. You could use this in MotoGP if you're fast enough to ride there. You could wear this helmet. It's going to pass. Uh, intermediate oval head shape. Excellent field of vision. Class leading ventilation. That's important to you. Would I buy it? Would I be happy with it if I bought this for my new premium track helmet? The answer to that is Yes, I would.